So as you can see today, we are going to be debunking three specific person myths that I have seen in comment sections and on Instagram posts from other creators. So I want to clear this up once and for all, and I wanted to go into depth today. So I've made quite an extensive and like I said, visually pleasing slideshow. So let's just jump straight into it. The first myth is I have to become someone new in order for them to love me again. Now, just straight up, the truth of that is you don't need to change yourself whatsoever. The only thing that you should do is change yourself if you want to change yourself. Your only role when it comes to manifestation is to change your perception of yourself and your experiences. Let me go into a little bit more detail. People think that they need to change themselves. Kind of makes sense, right? When you think about it, our entire lives up to this point where you found manifestation has consisted of being told things like, you know, crap happens, or you've got to work hard to get anything. Money doesn't grow on trees. If he wanted to, he would, which I absolutely hate that statement. And many other things like that. And this is kind of reinforced in our mind that most things, including other people's feelings, are out of our control. So of course, it makes sense why people would think that if they didn't love me when I was a certain way, if I change myself, surely they'll love me, right? And then down here, I have a little bit of a, a an image to show all of these different people, they make up this reality, this uh, old person with the cane, she has her ways of seeing things. And that's what makes this collective reality, the mother and child, they see things a certain way. That's what creates this reality. The man, same thing, and the lady, same thing. But that isn't the case at all, as you can see here. So how does it work then? What actually is the case then? What is it that you should be considering when trying to manifest your specific person? And when it comes to how they view you and whether or not you have to change? Well, your reality is based upon what you assume to be true for you. The experiences you will have on this planet solely are created by what you feel are true for you or what you hold as true for you. Your perception of events, truths, reality, whatever you want to call it, and so on will be fed to your subconscious mind as truth to which your subconscious mind will take in and push out for you to experience. Your reality is created by what you allow to enter your state of mind as true for you, not what the world at large shows. What this means is if you hold the assumption that you're good enough to have a relationship, that will be true. If you hold the assumption that you're good enough to have a relationship and your mum holds the assumption that you're not good enough to help have that relationship, because you are the offering power of your reality, you will still be good enough for that uh, relationship. The only way that other people have any impact on your reality is if you allow what they say to enter your mind. So instead of it being back here with you know each one of these individual people having their own thoughts and yada 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 that creates this world at large as the opera power of your reality this is what is actually true so we have the man or woman here obviously to represent you your perception which is this little eyeball of how this woman and child think of you or how this woman uh, this uh, old woman would think of you or how this man would think of you or how this woman would think of you, that is what creates your reality. The way that you perceive these people to be and how they show up for you is what your reality will consist of, not what each individual person makes up the reality that you consist of. So, oh, I went too far. Ignore that, you didn't see that. <laughs> so how does this mean that you don't need to change them? Well, this shows us that you don't need to change because it isn't you that is the problem, so to speak. It is your perception of your experiences that are. They only aren't there with you because you are not holding the assumption slash perception that they are, not because you're a sucky person and need to change. So what I mean by that is you aren't needing to change in order to them for them to come back, as in your hair, your makeup, your uh, muscle mass, your tone of voice, that stuff doesn't need to change in order for them to come back. You can obviously change it if it's something you genuinely want to do, but that doesn't need to change in order for them to come back. What does is your perception of yourself and this relationship. That's what needs to change. If you want them, 
start residing in and holding the assumption of you being their person and they will show up for you. You don't need to change a single thing about you as a person if you don't want to, this to have them show up for you. You only need to change what you hold as true for you regarding your relationship. Now onto the next slide that you absolutely didn't see. What does this look like in terms of a visual representation? Well, right here we have the man. Listen, let me just use me as the example. We have this man. My perception needs to be that this woman here, so in this case it would be Katie, I suppose. My perception is that Katie loves me or is in a relationship with me. That is then going to be fed onto my subconscious mind, which will get to work pushing that, re that reality out for me, which will cause my reality to shift, being in alignment with us being in that relationship. And then because I now have it in front of me that we are in this relationship, that will then allow me to change my perception that she loves me, feed my subconscious mind, creates that reality, we're in a relationship. So essentially by breaking the cycle that is currently in place of seeing them as anything less than your partner, you will begin to change your perception of your person to be in love with you. This perception will obviously you want to say that you're in a relationship as well as in love with you, but just humor this point to be in love with you. This then is fed to your mind, which then creates your reality using that story of you two being in a loving couple. Then because it's in front of you, you use it as a reference point, perception, love, push out. And that is how you sustain your relationship once it is in. That in essence is why you don't need to change anything about you because it is not you that needs to change. It is your perception of you and this relationship. If right now you are seeing yourself as single, not good enough, not worthy enough, yada, 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 those thoughts about you are what need to change. Anything past that is entirely, entirely your choice. So go, change those thinkings of being single to being in a relationship with this person. Change those thinkings of I'm not good enough for this person to being good enough for this person. Change the thinking of they're done with me to they are in love with me. And that will change your perception, which will change your subconscious mind story, which will then create this reality that you experience of you two being in a loving relationship. So you don't need to change you whatsoever. You just need to change your perception of you. Now, I just wanted to take this time to say I do have a Facebook community group, which I highly recommend you join up to sign up to join whatever it is that you would do, because there's tons of amazing stuff on there. Uh, short videos to watch, inspiring quotes, me just asking how you are. You can interact with me on a day to day basis. A free gift is on there of my self concept worksheet entirely for free and other little tidbits like a new project that I'm working on that people in the group chat yes, in the group yesterday just got entirely for free to help me with some feedback on. So I highly recommend you join the uh, Facebook group. It's called Rulers of, uh, Rulers of Their Reality. There will be a link in the description. So I highly recommend you go check it out and I would absolutely love to see you there. But moving on, second myth, the longer we are apart, the harder it is to manifest them. Now the straight up truth of that is time is not a factor your subconscious mind has any conception of, comprehension of, sorry, can't even read my own notes. Therefore, the length of time is irrelevant when it comes to shifting your specific person's feelings. But why does time not matter? Let's go into a little bit of detail. Your subconscious mind only operates in the present moment. It has no concept of past, present and future. It assumes everything fed to it via your thoughts is happening right this moment. Due to this, anytime you shift a story you're telling yourself, your subconscious mind assumes it is true now and will begin to push it out for you to experience, going back to the diagram that I put out in the previous slides. So whether it's been a day, a week, a month, or even a year that you last spoke to your specific person or last heard that they loved you, if you change your perception of how your specific person feels and subsequently the relationship that you two have, you'll change that outcome to match that perception. And it doesn't matter if it's been a day, a week, a month or a year, because time to your subconscious mind does not matter or even exist. This is what we experience logically compared to what the subconscious mind experiences. So up here we have the conscious mind. We've got a man stood there. The past is in the past, the present is in the present, and the future is in the future. 
we experience consciously time in a linear fashion. The past is behind me, the present is right here with me, and the future is before me. But your subconscious mind doesn't operate like that. Your subconscious mind operates in the past, present, and future all at the same time. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but Infinity War, the Avengers film, that part where Doctor Strange is looking through all of the different uh, timelines where they won against Thanos, that is essentially what your subconscious mind does. It operates everything all in this exact moment right now. So because of that, whether you're telling yourself that you're... Actually, did I explain it here? No, I didn't. Ah, shush. <laughs> I'm not used to doing slides, shush. But because of that, when you're telling yourself that you have something, whether it's you have had it, whether it is you have it currently, or whether you're going to have it, that will dictate what your subconscious mind pushes out because it's dependent on the tense that you're saying. If you're saying, I will have this relationship, because your subconscious mind only operates in the present moment, that is telling it, I currently don't. If you're saying that I have had this relationship, assuming there's no other story to say that you don't currently right now, by saying I have had this relationship, if you reside within that, that will imply that it currently is, like I said, assuming there's no opposing story, therefore bringing it into you. If you say I am in this relationship right now, that is present tense, implying it is happening right now, and that is going to bring it into you. There is absolutely nothing to say that because it's been any length of time, that's it, it's game over. If you are changing your perception, if you are changing the story that you hold is true, your subconscious mind will get to work making it happen for you regardless of how long it has been because it doesn't know how long it has been. It's essentially sat in the back of your mind and the only thing it has to go off of is what you feed it through thought. So tell it that you're in this relationship right now and whether it's been a day, a week, a month, a year or more, assuming you are consistent with this story, it will get to work pushing that out for you to experience because it doesn't comprehend the idea that feelings leave over time. Now the slide again that you definitely didn't see is an announcement of a new monthly membership tier called the gold tier. Now I added this tier because some people said that it would be good for me to have a more personal approach to people and while yes there is one-to-one -one coaching for that, sometimes people don't ha uh, need such an expansive amount of help that they need a full coaching package. So I thought why not cater to everyone in offering a monthly membership tier in which you'll get a one 10 minute call with me per month to go over anything you want, advice, feedback, anything like that. Access to members only live streams, which will be two every single month, starting up very soon, just kind of waiting for more members to join. Free worksheets that come with the, the, uh, the membership, a free daily manifestation routine, a free daily manifestation planner, where you can keep up with yourself on a day to day basis, kind of judge how well you've been doing, things like that members only prices on all services and products which means discounts by a huge portion i think it's 30 percent on everything i have to offer and access to an entire library 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 <laughs> of exclusive manifestation and self-improvement content at present there is 20 plus videos i say 20 plus because i know there's more than 20 but i didn't bother to count <laughs> And I'm adding two more every single month. And this week is going to be two videos exactly like this one with in-depth PowerPoints. One is there is always movement. And the other one is three ways to solve any problems. And they will be out on uh, this coming Saturday, so tomorrow. So I highly recommend you check this out because it is only £17 per month. £17 per month to gain access to tons of things that can help you with your manifestation, in my opinion, is an absolute steal. And it's much more cheap than one-to-one -one coaching, but it can still offer you tons of value. So if you're interested in that, down below in the comment section and the description is the link to my link tree, where you can see the link to my membership, where you can see the different tiers that I have to offer. The gold tier is the new one, and in my opinion, the best value for money. But moving on to the final myth. Myth three. Myth, myth, free, myth three. I have to control every, well, it says ever, every step they make to bring them to me. The truth of that is you do not need to control every step. In fact, you would be better off not controlling every step, but instead focusing on the end result and allowing for your subconscious mind to create it for you. Why does doing less equal better results then? 
Because you'd think, surely, by doing things day after day after day, trying to focus on every little thing, that would be equaling your end result more, right? Wrong. As far wrong as it could possibly be. Your subconscious mind, the creative power within, is far more powerful and has access to far more possibilities than your conscious mind could even comprehend. You and I probably look at things like, well, they have to text me, and then because they text me, that then leads to the date, and then that then leads to this and this and this. Your subconscious mind could look at it like we could bump into each other at a concert, in a coffee shop, on a train station. They could text me, they could call me, their friend could reach out. Tons of other possibilities, all of which have the potential to come to you at any given time. By not being so constricted with it, you are literally opening yourself up to more possibilities which opens you up to it potentially coming to you even sooner. When your subconscious mind has a story stored, it begins to get to work pushing out that exact story. Because your subconscious mind only operates in the present moment, when it is fed a story, it isn't looking at the obstacles in your way to get you there. Because again, going back to the past, present and future, if you say you have it right now, it implies it's here right now, which means nothing that could potentially be in the way matters because your subconscious mind assumes it's already there and then gets to work getting it for you. <clears throat> your subconscious mind will simply begin to put the pieces together to get you to where you desire to be. So if you can just feed the end result and allow it to get to work creating that, any obstacles in the way will be overcome by the creative power of your subconscious mind. This means if there's a third party involved, they will fall away as an extension because in your end result, there is no third party. Therefore, there can't be one leading you up to there. Or if they're long distance, they may come to you. If you guys aren't talking, they may reach out. You may bump into a friend who talks about them, gets you back into contact together. Anything that is potentially an obstacle will become will be overcome because your subconscious mind doesn't know what obstacles are because it only knows what the story that you are holding is true. So if you're assuming there is obstacles, that will obviously play out. But if you just go straight to the end result, get more by doing less, your subconscious mind will overcome those obstacles, leading you to your desire. Your conscious mind would have a hard time putting each individual piece together, and this would lead to frustration and anxiety. One of the biggest factors of successful manifestation is relaxing and living in the end. Because when you live in the end, you overcome obstacles automatically, and by relaxing, you allow it to flow. Who seem to be the most anxious and frustrated with the process? The people that are looking at every individual thing. Another day with no text. Oh, they're online and they haven't messaged me. They were last online an hour ago and they read my message and yada, yada, yada. The people that are trying to piece every single thing together by themselves. Your subconscious mind is the creative power within. Even Neville Goddard refers to it as the God within. Or uses the term God because he obviously references the uh, scripture. God is a creative power. Leave it up to God to do it for you. Whether you believe in a religious God or the subconscious mind being referred to as the creative God, up to you. But leave it up to the God with him. And this is just another little representation of what it looks like. Your subconscious mind, this little white brain here, has a story stored, pushes it out. There's nothing in between there. Your conscious mind will look at it and go, oh, well, I need to get a date uh, for a text, which leads to a date, which leads to us sleeping together. I can find little symbols for dating and stuff like that. So you're gonna have to stick with those three, which then gets pushed out into reality. But which is better going from bang to bang or bang, 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 bang. In my opinion, I'd rather just go, I said bang to bang, but I didn't even explain what I was bang to bang. <laughs> if we're going from subconscious mind to reality or conscious mind, phone, date, bed, then reality and all the other frustrations, frustrations that come in between. In my opinion, I'd rather just leave it up to the subconscious mind to do it for me, kick back and relax. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I do apologize that I stumbled over myself a little bit and showed you slides that I weren't meant to show you yet. I only just started doing the um, PowerPoint kind of ways of doing it. So, you know, bear with me on that. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I actually loved making it. It is currently quarter past two on the Friday morning. I started this at about 11, give or take. So just an, uh, just about three hours or so to plan and then make this thing and record it. So because I put so much effort in, it would mean a lot if you could drop me a like. I've just realized that you're just looking at a blank, a black screen. So let me get you to a nicer screen. Uh, it would mean a lot if you could drop me a like just to let me know you like it, to push it out there. 
if you like this kind of content, please comment letting me know and I will make more of it because it's so fun to make. If you are in need of one-to-one -one help to put these principles in this video into practice, by all means, down below in the comment section and the description is the link to my link tree where you can find the links to my website where I offer tons of amazing value for such a, an affordable price compared to a lot of other coaches. So I highly recommend you check that out. I will be working over Christmas to ensure those that I'm working with do get the support they need because I understand Christmas is a hard time, but I only have three slots available for email coaching. And unfortunately, I won't be doing any more calls until after the new year because of obviously Christmas and New Year and I'm actually away. But I will be working all over Christmas to bring you guys still content, be ac uh, accessible in the Facebook group and available for email coaches, email clients. So please sign up if you need my support over this Christmas period or if you are just looking to manifest your specific person. And I look forward to seeing you lovely people in the next one. Bye bye.